What's going on guys? It's Drawman and as you can see, I have this box right next to me and in this box is actually my most highly anticipated on-court model, maybe even my most highly anticipated sneaker of the year, period. I'm really excited to get this box open and show you guys what I picked up. But before we get there, make sure you follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more great content sneaker basketball related wise but without further ado let's just open this box all right here move this in front of me actually uh, i picked these up for about 50 dollars over retail 250 255 range but as you can see it's got the kobe box and right off the bat the box with the shoe in it it's light so i'm really expecting a light sneaker here's my receipt and what is this Ooh, what is this did this come with all Kobe's? A little bag like this? It's got a Nike sign on it. I didn't even know that. But, oh. Whoa. Oh, man. Yes. Whoa. Let me take out this tissue paper. Whoa. This sneaker is hella light. I. What? I have not seen these in person yet, so I'm tripping out. Yo, let me take out the tissue paper in this. Whoa, these are sick, yo. Man, I am so excited to start rocking these on the court. This is a beautiful looking sneaker. The, the main reason why I'm excited for this sneaker, obviously it's a Kobe, but really because it just feels like a sneaker that had a lot of thought put into its design. It feels like a sneaker that really is innovating on court performance. At least that's how I feel. The Kobe AD mids, which was the last Kobe, I just felt like it was a solid sneaker, but it wasn't anything to write home about. These, however, when I saw DeMar DeRozan debut these on the court, they looked beautiful. A lot of people don't like the soccer boot type look, but I grew up playing soccer, so I don't mind it. But aside from that, I love this colorway. I know there's more colorways dropping in the future, but I had to pick up this colorway. The black, the holographic, or what do you call that? Like pearlescent swoosh the little red midsole that's popping through the knit upper, as well as this, look at this right here, look on the outsole. This green little thing right here is to resemble a snake. Uh, even though a black mamba isn't green, you know it's a snake. And I just, I love the design of the Kobe AD NXT 360s, which is what these are called if you didn't know already. But let me actually inspect this shoe without the badge because it's clinging all over the place. But this is a light sneaker. Now, one thing I wanna do is I wanna take out this midsole here which will prove to be difficult, but that's a good thing because you don't want it just moving around in there. You want it nice and tight. Uh, okay. Oh, all right, here is the midsole and check it out. It's got kind of like an off-white type of look. You got the swoosh here with the writing on the sign, but it says stuff like, this piece is very grippy to keep your midsole directly under your foot where it belongs. Okay, so they added this piece here to make it really grippy so it doesn't move around. Right here, you see some instructions. You can't really see it. I'll, I'll give you guys an up close look. It says, your foot during the cut, midsole. This part is soft for quick cuts, react foam. Now, as you know, this is a Lunar Plus React Foam drop-in midsole, and I love the drop-in midsole technology. That was in the Kobe 11. That's one of my favorite Kobe models of all time. The Kobe 8 as well. I think the Kobe 7 is when it debuted, but the Kobe 8 really made it a great uh, uh, foot feeling. It, it just felt better in the 8 rather than the 7. So I'm really excited to experience React. I haven't experienced React yet. So uh, I'm really excited to start playing in these. And look, you can't really see it. Maybe I'm, I'm gonna try to give you a look, but the fly knit here is 360 fly knit. And what that means is it surrounds your entire foot. It actually goes underneath your foot. I'll try to give you guys a good look at that. But literally, this is a 360 degree like fly knit model. And then they just slap rubber on the bottom for the traction. And as you can see, <laughs> it's way more flexible than I thought. It literally is like, I don't know how, it feels like it was 3D printed. Like that's how thin it is. It's super pliable. Check that out. Super light. Man, and the fly knit does have like a plasticky feel, but that's probably because they put a plastic coat over it for extra durability. But since it's so thin and so light, I think that plastic coating is not going to be an issue. Usually it may feel a little, not as soft as it normally would without it, but I don't think it's going to be an issue here because again, it is so light. And check out that Kobe logo, which in my opinion is the best signature sneaker logo of all time. Yes, better than the Jumpman. 
and it's in red, which is my favorite color there. I am absolutely loving this sneaker. Let me put this other one out because I don't want to put that midsole back in. But here they are, guys. Kobe AD NXT 360s. You see the stitches on the back, which have kind of become a regular on Kobe models because of his Achilles injury. But I'm really excited to play in these. I'm going to the court tonight. I'm going to get shots. I'm going to give you guys good looks. And I, again, I can't wait to play in this. So stay tuned for the performance review. Kobe 1 Pro Show review coming out in the next couple of days. But I wanted to give you guys my raw thoughts and reactions of this unboxing. Let me know if you picked up a pair of these and if you like playing in them or not in the comment section below. And if you haven't picked one up, are you planning to in the future? Let me know that as well. And remember, be sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name is Jaren. It's been great having you. Catch you in the next one. Peace. When I first saw these, I instantly thought of the Russell Westbrook Why Not 0.1s. That big black shroud on the collar area just really reminded me of Westbrook's first signature model with Jordan brand, but the rest of the silhouette is just a straight up Yeezy. It looks just like a Yeezy 750 or 350 